get ready and we're gonna get started and also if you ever have any requests for the class any uh, anything you would like to work on you can send me a message and then I will be very happy to include it in the practice because the practices are for you so um, if you let me know I'll be happy to share with you whatever I can okay so we will start the practice sitting on the mat so here you can use the support of the of the block so I'm sitting uh, on the block because it elevates my spine a little bit. So it's much easier to keep the spine nice and long. And the reason why we want to keep the spine long is to allow the energies to flow freely through the body. And they can flow really, really nicely through the vertebrae. And also we have a spinal cord and all the energy centers are or the main energy centers are in the spine and also our nervous system which spreads further into all parts of our body so it's really important to keep the spine nice and long never straight it can be straight because of the anatomical function uh, anatomical build of the spine beautiful so here you can sit cross-legged if cross-legged uh, Sukhasana, this is called Sukhasana, cross-legged pose. If this is difficult for you and the knees do not go down all the way, so for example they stay somewhere here, you can use support, so you can use either blocks, uh, you can also use blankets, towels, pillows, anything you might need <clears throat> to support your practice. So lengthening the spine. Closing your eyes if you can and just listen to listen to the guidance of the voice. And for now listen to the sounds in your surrounding, the sounds in your room, perhaps outside your room, the sounds which are coming through the window. And just settling, arriving into the mat, arriving into the sound of your breath. And here you can set an intention <clears throat> for yourself for this practice. So the energy <clears throat> goes where the intention goes. Perhaps you can just allow yourself during this practice to let go or release at least one thing. So one thought, one emotion, one place where there is tension and also bring into your body positivity and perhaps practicing today with the sense of gratitude gratitude for being able to do it gratitude for your beautiful body which is allowing you to practice yoga Just for a little moment, observe how are you feeling physically today? Which part of your body or parts of your body will need your attention during the practice? How are you feeling emotionally? So just observing, noticing, no need to judge anything. How are you feeling mentally? Again, just observing without judging. 
how are you feeling energetically? And how is your spirit? And perhaps some growth is happening in this part of your being as well. So how you can support it today? Beautiful. Lovely. You can open your eyes, come back to this to the room softly and gently. So your eyelids are very, very soft. They do open yet really, really gently. So we'll start with the little breathing exercise. It's called Nadi Shodhana and it is breathing with the left nostril closing the right and then closing the right and breathing out through the left. So around our spine we have a little serpent of energies or a helic of energies and they are Ida and Pingala called in the Hindu philosophy and they resonate with the left and right part of the brain. So left right of the brain in a very simplified way it is responsible for relaxation response uh, in our body and the right side of the brain is an action. So they both need to come together and they both need to be balanced so we need to relax, rest and restore to be able to perform um, an effective action in life. So this type of breath allows us to balance the left and right hemisphere in the, in the brain and come back into this relaxation response in the body. So then whenever we perform action, which is a yoga asana, it's much easier and it's also more effective. So it can bring more benefits to your, to your body. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to use the thumb and either the ring finger or the small finger. So the index finger and the middle finger will rest on your forehead and the thumb will be used to close the right nostril and the little finger to close the left nostril. So we will take a cycle of nine breaths in here. So you can close your eyes in here and if for any reason it is hard for you to breathe through the nostrils, you don't need to do it. You can try and see if it works. But this particular breathing technique is really excellent also to help the sinuses to clear. So it's really good now in the winter when the weather is a little bit cold and damp. There is a lot of dampness to, to help the sinuses to clear a little bit. So let's do it together. So we'll st start with closing the right nostril with the thumb and breathing in through the left. So breathe in. Hold it, close the left and breathe out through the right. Close the right, uh, breathe in through the right. Close the right nostril, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left nostril, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close, breathe out through the right.
breathe in through the right. Close the right, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left nostril. Close it, breathe out through the right. Last two. Breathe in through the right. Close, breathe out through the left. Last one, breathe in through the left nostril. Close, breathe out through the right. Empty completely and relax your hand on your thigh and just close your eyes for a moment. Feel the movement of energies. <clears throat> Feel the change which happened in your body. So the sensations, this is what we connect to, knowing that they will change and they will shift and move through the body. So just observing them with no need to build an attachment. Excellent. Beautiful. So lengthening through your spine, opening your eyes and starting to move your head a little bit from one shoulder through the center of your body to the other shoulder. So just mobilizing the head in here. Beautiful. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Moving your arms, moving your shoulders back. And you can do small circles or you can do bigger circles. So opening your chest, opening your lungs and also massaging the space around the shoulder blades. Changing direction, going forward. Opening the shoulder blades, opening the wings. <laughs> Beautiful. And now Bring the chin towards the chest and flex your spine. So the back of your spine is going towards the wall behind you. Inhaling through the back of the spine. Exhaling, opening the chest, bringing the shoulder blades down and together. Opening the neck towards the ceiling. Inhale, curl your spine, chin towards the chest, flexing your spine, working on the flexibility in the spine. Exhale, opening your chest, lengthening your neck, looking up towards the ceiling. Really nice exercises to keep the youthful neck and chin. Inhaling, bringing the spine towards the Wall behind you, curling, shoulders to the front, inhale, exhaling, opening the chest, opening the neck, opening the head, beautiful. And now bring the hands together, bring your fingers together, interlocking them and creating a little waves. So connecting to the water element within us and also lubricating the joints in the fingers. So if you're working on the computer or online and typing a lot, it's really good exercise for, um, for the fingers, the wrists and the hands and change direction. So here working again with Ida and Pingala with two sides of the brain with our nervous system which needs a lot of care, a lot of attention and a lot of nurturing during those times, during these times. 
doing now anyway <laughs> lovely and now open the palms of your hands to the front lengthen lengthen through your arms bringing the shoulder blades down and away from the ears excellent and here start to bringing your shoulders bringing your arms up above your head if you can reach if the shoulders start to come all the way towards your ears then just like lower your arm, arms a little bit so wherever they can comfortably go and now you can open your arms so you can just like move one arm and the other oh, like a little stretch like a cat for example i don't know if cats do that maybe not maybe like a, like a human <laughs> Lovely and opening, beautiful and interlocking the hands at the back, bringing the shoulder blades together. Beautiful, lengthening, lovely. Okay, and just releasing. Wonderful. We're going to go on to our hands and knees and here if you do it for the first time hands the palms of the hands you can you want to open them nice and wide so you want to also work through the spaces between your fingers and also in the middle and just like in the middle of your palm you have a very important energetic point and we're gonna work with it quite a lot during the practice so you want to keep this point lifted but this is an energy of lift it will never reach the floor anyway because it's uh, there is a little deep a little hollow space in the palms of your hands so you want to keep this space nice and lifted while the other parts of the hands are actually really connected with the floor so the hands are underneath the shoulders the inside of your elbows are looking at each other your toes are gently curled in here your knees are underneath the hips and the spine is going into a neutral position which is the tabletop position so we'll start in neutral and then we're gonna go go into cat and cow so it's like flexing and rolling your spine in the other direction so working with the spine inhaling curling towards the ceiling Chin towards the chest and lengthening the neck at the back. Exhaling, opening the chest towards the wall in front of you, opening the heart, lengthening through the head. Inhale, spine towards the ceiling. Exhale, open your heart towards the wall in front of you. Inhale, into a cut exhale into a cow so now do it in your own rhythm using one breath so inhale and exhale as you do the movement so mobilizing flexing lengthening opening the vertebrae opening the space between the vertebrae in the spine and feeling your whole spine from your tailbone into your cervical spine, connected with your head. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent. And now coming back to tabletop position. And now bring your hips towards your heels. Bring them further. Bring, um, bring your torso beyond your hands. Bring your hips towards your heels. And bring the body forward. So just a movement, a linear movement here, but it's very gently. So you want to use the fluidity in, in your body and moving in a fluid way. Lovely. 
So feeling into the joints in your body. So feeling into your fingers, into your wrists, into your elbows, shoulders, knees, hips. Excellent. And now we're going to go into a circular way. So circling the body and moving as you please. So gentle rotations through your joints. Breathing in and out through the nose. Change direction. Breathing, using your breath. Lovely. So awakening the body, awakening the energies around your spine and also moving all the energies into your legs, into your arms, into your hands, into your feet. Lovely. And coming back into the tabletop one more time. Beautiful. And so we're going to go into downward facing dog. So listen to the instructions. Try to listen to the instructions. As looking at the video is good if you don't know the shape, but if you do have an idea already or you did practice before, try to listen and find this particular asana, this shape in your body. So pressing into the hands, into four corners of your hands, pressing into your toes, you'll start to lift your hips all the way up, all the way up. And you can have your knees bent in here. You can bend them generously. So really pressing into the palms of your hands and gently moving your legs. So gently moving your legs with the direction of your heels going down towards the mat. You do not need to bring your heels all the way down onto the mat. They will go there when they're ready. It is about sending the intention. So this is the direction of the movement. And you can bend your knees, try to bring your ribcage towards your thighs. Breathing into the palms of your hands, breathing into your feet. Lovely. So creating a little movement in here, moving with the breath. Lovely. And now look towards the space between the palms of your hands and step the right leg forward between the palms of your hands. So you might need to move your front leg a little bit here. You can support yourself with, with the hands or just walk your toes a little bit up. So you're going to bring the back knee down onto the mat and here gently. Raise your arms up, all the way up. So see if you can bring your leg a little bit further, the front leg. So in terms of the alignment in here, you want to have knee aligned with your ankle. So when the knee goes across the ankle, it creates a lot of pressure on the knee. So you do not want to go there. So this alignment is particularly important. And here you can lounge. So we're going into this nice low lounge. <laughs> so dropping into towards the floor. So working into the back quads, working into your hips. Beautiful. Excellent. <laughs> Now bringing the, uh, the palms of your hands together, looking towards the ceiling, bringing them onto your heart. And we're going to go into a little twist. So we're going to twist to the right. So start to twist your body to the right. Twisting, twisting, twisting. And bringing your left elbow behind your 
right knee. So twisting a lot, lifting your ribcage. So there is a little dissociation happening here between your hips and your ribcage. So going into a twist, launching through the legs, breathing in and out through the nose. Feel it, stay with it, stay with all the sensations, creating space in your back and creating those minuscule micro changes because that's what matters in every shape you're exploring. Beautiful. And now coming back to the center, bringing your left arm, your left hand onto the mat. So there is a nice distance between your hand and, and your leg. And now open the right arm towards the ceiling. So the fingers are reaching towards the ceiling, opening your chest, opening your heart, breathing into the right side of your body. Perhaps you can open a little bit more. So watching, do not go past your limits. Breathing in and out through the nose. Beautiful. And now bringing your hand beside, beside your right foot. Lovely. And now we're going to open to the left. <laughs> so the arm is opening to the left. So the right hand is right beside your right foot. Launching through the legs. <laughs> Stay with it. Stay with it. <laughs> Beautiful. And bringing your hand onto the mat, bringing your leg back. So bringing both knees beside each other. So now your hands are underneath the shoulders again. And you will lower yourself down to the strength of your shoulders, forehead on the floor. Your legs are long on the mat, breathing in and out through the nose. Beautiful. And now here we're going to go into a low cobra. So for that, you're going to engage the top part of your feet, pressing them into the floor, your pubic bone pressing into the floor. And on the inhale, engaging the muscles in your legs and in your buttocks. Lift your torso up. Low Cobra. Breathing in and out through the nose. And exhaling the forehead on the floor. And now tuck your toes under, press into the palms of your hands and into your toes, into downward facing dog one more time. Feet are hip width distance apart. The heels are going towards the mat. You're pressing into your hands, into your fingers, into your toes. And you can bend your knees here a little bit. Have a little wiggle. Exploring this shape. So downward facing dog, especially when you do it you, st you only start um, doing this asana. It can be quite intense on the body because it does work all the muscle parts in here. Yet whenever you get used to it, it is a little bit like a resting pose for the body. Lovely. And now look between the palms of your hands. So we have to do it on the other side now. <laughs> and step your left leg in front. Beautiful. And now bring your knee down onto the floor. 
and here you can either bring your the best way like possibly <laughs> but you need to try it for yourself is to bring the front foot a little bit further away and lounge into the back leg so see so here also the blanket would be handy if the mat or the floor is too hard underneath your knee so you can place the blanket underneath your knee i don't need it for today because the mat has a really nice padding underneath so it's very soft for my knees lovely and now open your arms towards the ceiling and launching through your legs creating this nice little back bend and very gentle back bend and here you can open your arms wider or you can keep them nice and narrow so it's up to you so feel it into your shoulders feel into your pecs into your arms as well what feels good look at either in front of you or between the palms of your hands towards the ceiling and now bringing the hands together into the prayer position at your heart and we will twist so we will twist the body starting to twist from your waist towards your left and here perhaps you can bring your left right elbow behind your left knee so that will give you a little bit of support to twist a little bit more as well so see if this is possible for you today breathing in and out through the nose <laughs> lovely excellent keep it going keep breathing enjoy <laughs> It's great that you're practicing, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> Beautiful. And now release the right palm onto the floor. So there is a nice wide distance between the left foot and the right palm on the floor. And lengthen your left arm all the way up. All the way up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and out through the nose. Keep going, stay with it. Lengthen through your fingers, feel those energies, feel this heat, the effort your body is making, staying, cultivating gratitude, gratitude for every movement. Excellent. And now release the left palm just beside your left foot. And here we will open towards the right. So opening the chest towards the right. So a lot of nice twists in here today. You can also bring your arm behind you if that feels comfortable. lovely and bringing the palm of your hand onto the mat bringing your knees down beside each other and here bring the toes together at the back and we will go into a child's pose so you can lengthen in here you can also stay just here that's perfectly fine so like that if this is um if the hips do not allow you to go any further but if you can you can bring your sit bones towards the buttocks and perhaps release your head onto the floor lengthening through your arms all the way forward letting go of all the asanas you just did, all the twists, strengthening poses. Neutralizing and recalibrating the nervous system. Mm. 
allowing the breath to come in and help you at all times breathing in through the nose and out through the nose softly beautiful and now lengthen your body lie down on the mat or on your back excellent just for a moment feel the connection your back is making with the floor the support you're receiving gratefully Bring the knees towards your chest, bring them nice and tight, embrace them with your arms and start to move your spine side to side on the mat. So massaging your back, massaging two sides of your spine, you can imagine those erector spinae muscles around, those, around the spine supporting Keeping it all together, keeping it moving, so they receive a little bit of a massage right now. <clears throat> Breathing into your whole body. Lovely. And now lengthen your legs all the way up. Straighten your toes. Straighten your toes, no. Stretch through your toes, stretch through your toes. Flex your toes towards you. Stretch your toes. Flex your toes. Stretch again. Flex. If you feel a little bit of shaking in here, in the legs, that's perfectly fine. It's the energy moving. Your nervous system recalibrating and now shake your legs so if they were shaking, shaking involuntarily now you held them a little bit so just releasing the calves and shaking all the way into your thighs into your quads beautiful and now lengthen your legs all the way onto the mat. You can use support underneath your knees in the form of a pillow or a bolster if you choose to. Hands are resting along your side. The palms of your hands are open towards the ceiling. Well done everyone. And just completed your physical asana and now is a time to integrate all the changes in Shavasana, corpse pose. Allowing yourself a moment of silence. Letting everything go. And just staying with your breath. Breathing in. The chest expands. Breathing out. The chest descends. 
breathing in. Her tummy fills up with air. Breathing out. Her tummy empties. Breathing in. Fresh energy comes in. Breathing out. You can release what you no longer need. Breathing in. Breathing out. One breath. All together. And now, gently, start to come back with your awareness to the space you're in, to your room, to the place where you practice yoga for today. And start to connect to your body. Wiggling your toes and your fingers, connecting to the movement. Again, very, very gently. And turn to your right side. Give yourself a really nice cuddle in gratitude for showing up for yourself, for practicing yoga, for being able to move. <laughs> and from here, find a way to come back to sit on your mat, cross-legged, just as we started the practice today. Bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center. Bring the chin towards the chest gently and bowing towards yourself first for showing up, for giving yourself this time and space to practice yoga and to each other for practicing together and generating this beautiful energy. Namaste. Mm-hmm.